Hi, I'm Laura Ray and welcome to my channel. I have my favorite multitaskers to share with you today. These are all products that I love, I use all the time, and I think serve multiple purposes. Eye makeup is so much fun. I probably have the most fun with makeup with my eye makeup. So I like cream shadows a lot. I think they look great on a mature eye because they blend and sort of melt into the skin. I was experimenting a little bit to see if I could make a beautiful crease color. And I tried this for Maybelline. It's their concealer in the shade tan and it worked great for my crease. This sinks into the skin. You don't see any product laying on the skin. It blends easily. It's almost like you're painting with watercolor paint. I just barely dab the brush into this and it just melts right into your skin. It's easy to blend out, so I think it's a lot easier to blend than powders are. Now I use this all over my face. I go in with my Real Techniques setting brush and I apply it as a, a contour. I use it on the cheeks, sometimes around the chin area, and it really warms up the skin and I think it's a great alternative great multitasker instead of using a contour powder. I have hardly heard anybody talk about this beautiful shadow from Almay. If you like Brulee from Wet n Wild, I think you would go crazy over this. I love it. It's in the shade Less is More. Well, what's a multitasker about this? There are four different finishes for the same shade. Now, I use the more sparkly one right in the center of the mobile lid. And then there's one that's a satin. I like to use that on the inner corner of the lid because that area on me is much more crepey. And if I use something very sparkly there, the crepiness tends to show more. So this is excellent. This shade is a matte. So I use this right on wherever I've uh, left off on my contour contouring in my eye, I go over that area with this and blend it out so you don't see a harsh line. But this is an amazing multitasker and it's actually under $5. I love a modern glowy look and some of the bronzers are just a little much. Sometimes you want a very soft look. So I've been using this from L'Oreal. It's their True Match and it's in the shade Bare Honey. Now this shade not only worked for me with my skin tone, which is on the lighter side of medium, but my daughter has very pale skin and this worked for her too and she loved it. Now I use this not only on my cheeks as a blush, but I use it to bronze up my face to warm it up. I think this is perfect too for daytime. I don't want something dramatic during the day. I just want my skin to look healthy and youthful and this definitely is the multitasker that can take care of that. There are certain areas of my face that get very dark. The inner and outer corner of my eyes is always an issue because I have deep set eyes. So in Anyone that has deep set eyes knows what I'm talking about. I like this one from Neutrogena. It's their eye brightener and this has sunscreen in it. So you're not only getting sunscreen, which is great to have that in this product, but you're brightening the face and the price is very reasonable. Most of these brighteners are very expensive. This also is made like the expensive brighteners with a little brush to apply it. You just turn up the product at the bottom and it comes out the top of the brush. But I love to use this on other areas of my face. Also, I know it's used for a brightener for the eye, but I use it down the nose, on my chin, anywhere where I feel like my skin looks dull. So this is an amazing multitasker. Cream products can be great multitaskers. I'm gonna link one of my videos I did a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in my description of my video and in the first pinned comment about cream products. I think they're great for mature skin. Now, some of my favorites that are shades that multitask, that look great with other shadows, one of them that I love is from Revlon, and this is number, let's see, 725, and it's gold. This is one of those shades that I use with browns, with purples, with mauves, and get different looks that look amazing on the eyes. Now, I only use this on my mobile lid. That's where I put it, and typically, I'll always top off an eye look with a cream shadow, and this is one that I use a lot. This one is from Maybelline, is Social Light. This is one that I will apply up to the crease area and sort of blend out one of those one and done. So that saves me having to put on lots of shades of eyeshadow if I want a quick out the door look. This is a great multitasker for that. I have talked on and on about this product from Sigma. It's their Lip Halo. I love it because it does multitask 
work for my lips. It smooths out the lips, it makes lip lines less noticeable, and it blanks out the color of my lips. My lips are very purple, so when I, for example, will try on a nude lipstick, it'll look very different on me than other people that have lighter toned lips. And I don't really like the look that I get on my natural lip with a nude lipstick. So I use this all the time. Well, unfortunately, it looks like Sigma is not going to make it anymore. They're not carrying it on their site. But thankfully, Amazon still has it. I do have it linked in my Amazon store. It is an amazing multitasker. My whole lipstick collection looks different now. I went through everything and started trying on reds and pinks and just all the shades I have, and they look so different with this. So I would have to say out of all my makeup multitaskers, this one is my personal favorite. The Gamache is a very gentle exfoliant. I just put it on my skin, I let it dry for about a minute, and then just start rolling off that surface dry skin. What makes it multi-purpose for me is I use it on my problem areas, areas plural. I use it on my face, my neck, my hands. So I get a lot out of this product, but I'm really happy with this from Mother Made. It is much more gentle than others that I've used. I can use it on my very sensitive skin Skin and not get a reaction, and it leaves my skin looking healthy, hydrated, and very bright. Just when I thought I could not love Albaline anymore, I have found another use for it that's been incredible. I've been using it as a hand mask. So what I do is I put the Albaline on my hands, leave it on a few minutes, then I'll even some days take a little bit of sugar and use it like as an exfoliator and then rinse them and my hands feel amazing. And it leaves them moisturized for at least a full day. Now this has been great with all the hand washing I've been doing lately. Now other uses that I use of course is to remove my makeup every day. That has saved me from using eye makeup remover, from using other things on my face to remove makeup, uh, such as wipes and those types of things. And then I just wash my face afterwards. Most of the time, I don't even feel like I need a moisturizer because it is such a deep moisturizing treatment for your skin. Now, another thing I've do, uh, been doing is facials with it. So I'll put the Alpaline on, leave it on a few minutes, and then wash it off. And my skin feels so hydrated after that, it makes a great facial for your hands or face. One of my best oils that I use is my coffee bean oil. I use this in the under eye area to plump up the fine lines. I also use it when I give myself a gua sa massage. I did a video on that a while back and I'll link that for you to watch. But that tool works great for lifting the skin. I'm still doing that. Some of you have asked me if I'm still doing that treatment. I definitely do. Now I love this roasted coffee bean oil. When I do that treatment, I feel it leaves my skin looking more youthful because of the caffeine in it. But that's not the only place I use this oil. I also apply it to my hair, my hands. So this is one of those multi-purpose oils that you can apply all over the body. Another wonderful oil that I use is jojoba oil. This is just one of those oils I always keep in my stash. I use this on my hands. Uh, the under eye area, sometimes during the day, I just apply it under the eyes if I feel my eyes look a little dry. Also, you can use it your feet, hands, wherever. In the hair is another way I use it. I will mix this oil with other oils that I have that I keep. I keep sort of a closet of oils. I like several kinds. I like the jojoba oil, almond oil. Uh, olive oil is great for my hair too. So I mix these, make a little concoction. I'll put it on my hair, leave it on for a couple of hours, and then go wash my hair. And that will take away dryness and frizziness. Besides fine lines around my eyes, I also have fine lines around my lips. And for a long time, I was using this Queen Bee Peeper Keeper around the eyes. And I thought, why not try it for those fine lines around the lips? Because it was working so well for my eye area. So what I do is I take some and just massage it in around the lips. I'll do that before I apply my makeup. I'll do it before bed at night. And it has really helped those fine lines. So this is a multitasker because it works for eyes 
and lip lines. The past couple of years, my lips have looked smaller. I'm not going to get fillers or anything. I've always had full lips, but I just wanted them to look a little fuller like they used to look. Well, I found this one from Beauty Hacks on Amazon and gave it a go. Now, within two nights, I felt like my lips looked so much smoother. I use it on the lips, but you could also take some if you want to tame your brows and put it in that area. It would work great for that. I've tried that also. I got great results, and I actually did didn't realize how dehydrated my lips were until I used that product. About a year ago, my hair just kept getting frizzier and frizzier and frizzier. And I started investigating what could I do about it. And I came across a YouTuber who said, if your hair is frizzy, it's a curl looking for a place to happen. So I stopped using a regular blow dryer that I was using and started diffusing my hair and putting some gel in. And this is what I get when I put gel in. Now the gel that leaves my hair, and I've tried many gels, that leaves it the waviest so I don't have to use hot tools on my hair is this one. It's Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. I've never found a gel yet, and I've tried many, that will leave my hair this curly. I think it's great because I don't have to use hot tools on my hair. That has helped my hair is breaking less, which does make it grow faster. I was losing a lot of length from the hot tools I was using on my hair. So by using this, I can get rid of those and just let my hair grow naturally. During this time when we're home, I obviously can't get to a salon, so my roots are growing out. I have roots that are dark, and then I also have a ton of gray hair coming in. So I'm trying to do two things. I'm trying to make the darkness blend with the rest of my hair, and then I'm trying to cover up the gray. What I've been using that has worked for me is this root touch-up from Clairol. I just take my makeup brush and brush it right over the gray hair, right over my darker hair, and sort of blend it into the hair color that I have in my hair. This way, I get more of a gradual look to the hair of the color blending out. This lasts until I shampoo, so I just do it once, and when I wash my hair, maybe three days later, I wash it out and then apply it again once my hair is dry. So this has been a great multitasker for me because I can cover up gray and also I can cover up the roots all in one. I like keeping my routine very simple and I do want volume in my hair but I don't want it to look stiff or where it doesn't look like you want to touch it. So I found this from Living Proof. It's called Perfect Hair Day, and it is a bodybuilder and hairspray all in one. What's interesting about this, if you want less body, you can just move the nozzle this way. If maybe you have really thick hair and you need more product, you move it to the left, and that's it. So this replaces dry shampoo for me. I don't want to use too much dry shampoo on my hair because I feel like it sort of clogs my pores and my hair feels gunky after a little bit of time. I like using this because I just get a very natural feel and it does give my hair body. I like my nails to look healthy and strong, so I've been using this for quite a while from Nail Aid. It's their Keratin 3-Day Growth. I put this on. It makes my nails look healthy and strong. Now you'd say, why is this a multitasker? Well, it's also very shiny, so it takes the place of you having to use a top coat. I use this alone. I have it on right now. I put a couple of coats in. I'll probably add one today. When I add another coat, it just increases the shine increases the strength of my own nails. Now since I've been using this not only are my nails growing faster but they're also much harder, they look healthier, so this is something I'll always keep in my stash. Congratulations to the winner of last week's giveaway. I'll pin her name in the first comment beneath the video, and I truly appreciate when you give our winners a thumbs up. That really makes them feel good. I've heard from so many that have commented back like, that was amazing that all of those women commented and gave me a thumbs up, so they do appreciate it. This week, I'll be giving away this palette from Milani. I really like these palettes that they came out with. They're not going to make them anymore, which is disappointing, but I think it's wonderful. This is Bold Obsessions. If you're interested in winning this, if you'll just leave me a comment beneath the video, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for your loyalty, your kindness, and I hope you all have an amazing week.